In the forgings of his commitment to putting an end to education inequity, Teach for Nigeria, TFN, a non-profit organization, has expanded its program to the northern region of Nigeria to leave education in marginalized parts of the country. Teach for Nigeria plans to further expand and deepen its efforts over the next 10 years to impact over 500,000 primary school children across Nigeria annually. Joining us now live by Skype is a northern coordinator, Teach for Nigeria, Hamid Alaga. Thank you for joining us, Hamid. Good evening, and thank you for having me. Great. Schools are shut down and have been since um, before Easter holidays. Now, what is the state of education of children in, in the North, and in particular, in the schools you are definitely involved with? Um, well, in general, um, I must commend the Ghana State Government. I think they were first in the part, they, was, they, they are one of the first uh, to be able to shut down schools uh, since the pandemic started. Um, so ed education basically is on hold. Uh, kids are not attending school. Uh, classes are not going. It means learning is not taking place. Uh, and that's, that is what the reality is. Uh, uh, there seems to be uh, a disconnect, especially for kids who are uh, fortunate to you know, have uh, attend private schools. Uh, and what this situation has basically shown us further is the, the inequity gap that actually exists. Because you find out that schools that kids, uh, private schools that kids are attending may have found one way or the other to sort of continue the learning process, either because they come from um, families who are able to afford a laptop or a smartphone so the school can reach out to the parents and have the kids engage one way or the other. But you find out in some of the schools that we work in, which are primarily public schools, uh, these items are not readily available. And so what you have is that kids in those particular homes have no access to learning within this period. What new strategies have you had to employ this, this season? Would you want to share with us? Oh, yes. Um, I think in all the states that we're in, we're constantly working with the state government to see how we can support learning in, in an innovative way. And I can speak for all the states that we're in. Uh, one of the strategies that we've adopted is working with state government to reinforce uh, some of the uh, uh, programs they've launched, for in particular the radio lessons that most states have, have launched. Uh, so. Uh, we are, most, in most states, the front line in delivering most of the content, especially in Ogun State, where we have strong put in. And as well in Kaduna State, we have moved to support the Kaduna State Ministry of Education to see how we can partner to support the delivery of content via radio. And radio is essential because we know, especially for low-income families who cannot afford access to internet, or, or television. We know that radio is one electronic device that you can almost find in every home. Uh, so, so far, uh, the radio, uh, the, the state's uh, Universal Basic Education Board has been, uh, you know, reaching out to kids via a one hour program daily on radio station where they are cascading specific topics to reach out to low income kids uh, in their homes. What is the atmosphere like in the North, uh, particularly in Kaduna State? Well, um, almost like every other part. I mean, there are a lot of concerns as to uh, the uncertainty of when this whole uh, pandemic will end. And I think for a lot of people, I think which is normal, the basic instinct of wondering whether uh, we will survive or not is really uh, worrisome. Um, uh, I think that there is a huge concern with that. And people are eager to basically go back to normal. And then uh, there's also concern, just like the last uh, speaker said, where there are some people who I believe the level of education, or I be in, what I mean is the level of information available as to how serious the COVID case is. Uh, uh, because right now we're beginning to see some community spread in a lot of areas. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of tension. Um, people are very worried and very concerned as to how this will all end, most especially as they see this uh, continue for longer than they anticipated. Yeah. All right. Ahmed Alaga, thank you for your time and for your contribution on News on the Hour. Thank you.